In today's video, I wanted to go through this spreadsheet that I've been working on. You can get this spreadsheet in the description of this video. I've been building it in my live streams. I'm going to continue to build it, but I thought I would just make a video about it. Basically, it's a spreadsheet that um, helps people identify niches in print on demand uh, and on Redbubble, specifically on Redbubble, but it can be used for any, red, uh, any print on demand website. So you can just click and open this spreadsheet here. And then if you wanna use the spreadsheet yourself, just go to file and then make a copy and then press make a copy here. And then you will actually be able to write in the spreadsheet. You will not be able to write in my spreadsheet. And I've done that intentionally just to keep everything nice and clean. So how to actually use this spreadsheet. The first part is to always check copyright. I put this specifically because I do not want any problems. So not legal advice and et cetera, et cetera, all those memes, always check copyright. I am not responsible for you finding a keyword using my method and then uploading it and then something bad happens. Always check copyright. So first part is you can either, I've got two niche hunting methods here. Okay, so the first one is choose a search operator. A search operator is uh, written directly into Google. So write this directly into Google. I should probably write that so people actually know to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna copy this and you guys can follow along with me. Copy and paste. And then it says in title, okay? So after the in title part, we're gonna add something from column D. So for example, pizza, coffee, noodles, etc. So let's just pick a random example. Let's go for um, naps. Okay, so I'm just gonna write naps here. And then this should give us some ideas for keywords such as good at naps. Let's open this up. 361 results. Perfect. Good t shirt you can see that this works very, very well. Another, another way that we can do this going back to the spreadsheet is we can use either keyword generator or how do I not have keyword tool.io here? That's really bad. One second guys, keyword tool.io. I'm actually, I, I think keyword tool IO is actually better than Ahrefs, so yeah. I'm just gonna use keyword uh, tool.io and I'm gonna write, um, so the way this works is we're gonna take the same word, which was naps, and we're gonna we're gonna write shirt after it. So we're gonna write naps, and then shirt. I'm gonna press search here, and then it's gonna hopefully give us a list of keywords. There's the first one. <laughs> so we're gonna search this as usual, and we're gonna look for red bubble search result page, which is right here. I'm gonna open this up. See how many results there are, 484. You can see this is such a simple way to find keywords, guys. I am adding to this slowly, and also there are a load of keywords here that I've found uh, on my streams. I think I've stopped adding to this now, as far as I'm aware, but there are about 40 keywords here. So you've got 40 keywords to start with here. There are also some uh, variations, okay? So what this means is that we replace the X, well, we don't replace the X with anything. We just write honk if you are shirt. And then the reason I really like this is because it gives us loads of uh, keywords very, very quickly, okay? Which is perfect. Honk if you are a shirt a barb, honk if you are a goose. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Honk if you are a goose. Honk if you are a gamer, honk if you are a etc, etc, etc. Okay, you get the idea guys, you can go through this yourselves. Uh, I just realized, is this in alphabetical order? I might have to look at that. Oh, it is. It's not in order of popularity. It's in order of, of the alphabet. Oh, interesting, I didn't know that. So yeah, you can also you can do Queens Are Born In or You Had Me At, and you can add to this. So while you're doing these two um, research methods, just always be aware that when you see something that could be a variant design, 
then use that as well because it's a really really good way to find keywords so we could do we could do jesus naps shirt and see if there are any other keywords here i love jesus and naps perfect did, did jesus take naps i think that's an actual <laughs> i think that's a serious i think that's a serious question which is kind of hilarious uh, yeah, uh, I love Jesus and naps is perfect. Jesus took naps is also perfect. I think these ones are in order of popularity and maybe it goes in order. Yeah, look, down here it's in order of um, letter, alphabetical order. Jesus took naps, be like Jesus, another great example. So what I do quickly want to mention that this is not specifically for Redbubble. It's just my YouTube videos generally don't do very well unless they have Redbubble in the title. You can also do this for Etsy, for example, or Amazon or anything. It really doesn't matter. So good at naps, naps before taps, perfect. Good at naps, naps and sacks. <laughs> I think that's something else. Ti amo e naps, segno. That's Italian. I love you and naps. Yeah, it's the same thing. So yeah, this is the spreadsheet I've been working on, guys. Please feel free to join me on my live streams. I've been doing some live streams recently. They've been going really, really well, and I really, really enjoy them as well. Uh, there are also some KDP keywords on here because I did find a really interesting KDP keyword method. But yeah, this is the main reason I'm streaming is because people ask me questions or I discover random things. Here is some, uh, some uh, videos that will come in the future. So if you're interested in any of these videos, make sure that you comment down below. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. Some of these are really interesting. Uh, I, I will be making videos about pretty much all of these uh, websites. This here worked really, really well. The Amazon KDP keyword thing. I'll be making this video very, very shortly. But yeah, this, uh, this spreadsheet, is to help people who cannot kind of follow actionable steps or cannot think of actionable steps for finding niches, okay? Because niches are one of those things that if you don't know what you're doing, it's really, really hard to actually understand how to find niches. But you, also, you always wanna be thinking of popular concepts and ways to use those popular concepts to generate keywords. The final thing I want to mention is that there is also a free version of Ahrefs. People keep telling me that Ahrefs is too expensive, but there is a free version of Ahrefs that actually gives you, it does the same thing as Keyword Tool IO, but I actually prefer Keyword Tool IO, but um, it does give you volume, okay? So we can actually have a look at how many searches we can expect every month so if i just get this keyword what was the actual keyword jesus took naps shirt we can search this on ahrefs and see if there's any volume i think there will be 80 searches a month that's really really good and like we looked before i think redbubble was on the first page and there's only 500 results i think there were Okay guys, thanks for watching. You can find the spreadsheet in the description and it will be in all my live streams as well. I'll see you really, really soon with some more content. Thanks for tuning in and peace out.